why things just aren't working out for you. And in most cases, it has to do with mindset, goals, and organization. So let's get going. I left this for I left this open so that we could see what was going on. You'll notice that you don't have to have fancy graphic machines, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All I did was I took one the first in the PowerPoint in the Mac, I believe it's Keynote, and you can just design. I use this one right here, as you can see, and then grabbed the picture, filled it in, voila. Now you have a thumbnail for your story. And the story is everyone starts at the beginning. We all arrive and we're bright. We're on fire. We're ready to go. We get the training. We do the training. We come out the other end and we are ready. And we are looking for all those people with fists full of cash. And they're just saying, take my money. Take it. And then we realize we have work to do. We have to build the foundation. We have to build our brand. We have a ton of options available to us. But the things we have to understand is we need to be able to organize our day, organize our week, our month, because this is a long term deal. You don't make money overnight. You have to work hard now. You have to do what you have to do now so that you can do what you want to do later. And the areas that you need to keep up with for you to be happy is you got to do your health, your wealth, your family and friends. If you neglect any of these over time, odds are you're going to have to stop everything that you're doing and fix the area that you've been neglecting. So you spend all day, every day working on this. You need to take the time out. For example, I get up at four o'clock in the morning and I start working on this. I do my first thing I do in the morning is I go over the steps for the day. So you organize, you do, you review, you spend time with the kids, you do your real job if you're still doing the real job, et cetera, et cetera. Do me a favor, like, share, comment. What we do is we put teams of affiliates together. We work together. We help each other. And we have our headquarters that we meet in when people have a problem. Time chunking is how you do this. First heard about this with Tony Robbins. You take chunks of your day, chunks of your time, and you dedicate it to certain areas. So again, in the morning, I review the agenda. The agenda that I set up the night before. And in this case, for me, it's a little backwards. I'm going to skip a few slides here in a second. I go blog, YouTube, Facebook, then TikTok. Notice all of these are free. Spend your beginning days on free marketing. If you pay for ads, you're just throwing money away. You don't have the keywords. You don't know who your target audience is. Build your foundation build your understanding, get the knowledge. Then later on, if you want to do it, you can go right ahead. But today, you don't need to. Between TikTok and Instagram Reels and YouTube, build a foundation. It will work for you. Then I do my work. Do your work from nine to five. You got your family and friends. Review a few videos, kind of like this one. I watch a lot of Brian Brewer, AJ Rance, and other YouTube videos on exactly doing this. I touch up a few items that I worked on from yesterday, and then I set the agenda for tomorrow. I go into OneNote, and I write down everything that I want to do tomorrow plus one. And then at the end of the day, depending on how many of these I get checked off, and in most cases it's going to be either most of them or all of them, I give gratitude for what I did. Even if you only get two of these done, give gratitude for what you did that day. One of the key focuses in each one of the areas, health, wealth, and happiness, you want to do the one thing, the important thing. Start it and finish it. Don't multitask. Multitasking is it just doesn't work in this area. Start something, finish it. 
do it in all three areas. In most cases, whether you're going to succeed or not succeed depends on how strong your why is. My why is strong. I'm doing this. I'm going to do this. I will do this with you or I will do this without you. With you would be more fun, but I'm going to do this. The stronger your why is, the less you have to push yourself through this. The less you have to fake it to make it, because the longer you have to fake it, the harder it is to, to keep creating content. In a group environment, it's a little bit easier. You have six people around you. They can pull you when you're slowing down. They can give you a little push. You see what they're doing. So you can copy and mirror some of the things that they're working on. You can see how active they are. It, it can make you work a little bit harder. And you need to understand your blockers. My blockers, you need to make sure you turn off the TV. Kids aren't bothering you anymore by bothering. I mean, let's go for a walk. Let's go to the mall. Knock that all out ahead of time. Get everything done. Then you sit down and you start working. Go to the bathroom. Make sure the laundry is already done. The blockers are the things that you do when things get difficult. You run into an issue. Uh, you decide that uh, I just need. I'm going to get up and get a glass of water. You're working on the PowerPoint presentation. You decide I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to go do laundry. I'm going to run to the store, or I'm going to spend three hours watching TikTok videos. These, the more you understand them and the more that you acknowledge them, the faster that they start going away and you can deal with them. The people that miss a day here and miss a day there, I see them all the time. I work with new beginner affiliates and entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, we call them. They'll miss a day here. They'll miss a day there. I have an appointment to meet them at night and they just don't show up. They're not answering their messenger or their email. And then they come back a few days later and they're like, sorry about that. Uh, got busy. Uh, and they do this off and on every few weeks and they just can't understand why they're not getting the same traction that everybody else is getting. And it's because they're letting things stall and, in many cases, it's because they're not organized. They don't set the agenda the night before for what they're going to do the next day. If you know your next day is going to be busy, set a smaller agenda. If you've got a wide open day, make it bigger. The first thing you do every morning is you read that agenda. If you don't like to have your face on video, do things like this. This right here, doing the PowerPoint presentation or a keynote presentation, it helps keep people's attention because if I was just had my face up there and I was talking to you, after a while, you can start fading out. But as the screen keeps changing, the screen can get your attention back. Here's an example of a simple agenda that I follow. The evening before, I make an outline. I use OneNote. I go on the OneNote and I start writing everything out. And for me to write everything out, it's all I need is the idea. I pop the idea into here and I start writing out my blog. The blog is going to fuel everything else because I write eight, nine paragraphs. I get some images. I do the research. I get some statistics and I put it all into the blog. When the blog is done, I can then take a condensed version of that and put it in the Facebook. I can also take the condensed version and put it in the TikTok. The other thing I do is I make the PowerPoint presentation that you see right here. I make the thumbnail that you see right here. And then I make the YouTube. I'm able to put everything together. I have the funnel in the description. You put your keywords in the title, the keywords in the description, and then and most evenings, I go hang out in the Facebook group where we have 27 people sitting in there right now. I work with them every day. 
I send out an email to them every Sunday. It goes back and forth. Uh, when I complete content like this one right here, I will, I will reply all to them. They're going to come look at the video. Tell me if everything's okay. Like it, comment on it, depending on what they see, and share it out to their followers. This is what we do as a team, and it does make things a little bit easier. Check out the description if you want. Uh, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day.